Hey everybody, welcome back to GDPG, and today we are playing Shelter, because you guys voted for it. That's right. <laughs> uh, I know you voted on, on what, the Benevolent Saga, but, so, Weebead's not here, so instead I'm going to sit in for her. But and we're going to play this. I guess we haven't decided if we want our voting system to have kind of like a hard rule or not. But anyway, Shelter is uh, a game about a badger. Trying to survive. Badger, badger mama. Badger keeping, mama. Keeping her badger babies alive. They're pretty cute. So the game starts us off. We actually tried doing this earlier and had a hard time because we didn't realize. So we were like, we saw this guy and we we're like, oh, he's grayed out. He must be dead. Man, that's really sad. Poor baby badger. Well, <laughs> baby badger. let's get out of here. <laughs> and uh, had a hard time because we didn't realize, like... We were like, okay, well, this is obviously the way out. Oh, wait, it won't let us. So we were like, okay, well, obviously there's something with this radish. And we were like, maybe we got to learn how to feed our babies. And then we were like, okay, well, maybe we got to try to feed the sickly badger. And then we were like, okay, well, that's not working. And uh, it turns out we were just aiming poorly. So did you just throw it at him? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, so you must have been hungry. The game basically forces us to learn, like, hey, you have to feed your babies to keep them alive. Um, which is good. That's I think it's important that they, like, don't let us advance in the game oh, until we do we that. Because uh, we should know how to feed our babies if we're going to play this game. Right. That's the whole point of the game. Keep them alive. Um, and they, they do a good job to it, like kind of saying a lot of that without using any kind of like tutorial text which is pretty smart um the only reason we had a hard time is just because i think maybe like the collider bounds or the trigger area for dropping the radish near the sickly baby was like it was small so when we missed it earlier that you didn't see that's why we thought oh maybe he's just dead <laughs> there's <laughs> nothing we can do with it it's getting real narrow yeah, well, badger hole. Badger hole. Badger hole. Teeny little badger hole. Too bad we're not like, what is it, the honey badger that don't give no fucks? <laughs> I'm sure that that joke has been made with like a million of these Let's Plays already, so I don't want to like overkill that. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> that joke came out in what, like 2014? Oh, I don't even remember. I feel like it was a while ago. Feel like ah, I should be look at that! Food. Look at that! Look at that! What? That the circle? No, no, no. Or the way out? The way out. Oh, I was like, I mean, there's a little circle on the wall. I don't think it's that crazy. No, you made it. We did it. Okay, so oh yeah, we can run. Oh, there's food. Babies, eat this. No, eat it. There you go. Yeah, there you go, baby. Oh, so I love the art. It's very like, <laughs> it's very like kind of washed out, you know, where it's like um, pale colors, but it feels, um, I don't know, it feels, uh, what's a good word, word to describe it? It's kind of like the atmosphere, like it makes it feel like there's, because you know how it's kind of like the farther something is. Don't pass is, up the tree, you gotta get the food. Food? Yeah, it showed you to ram into the tree for the food. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. There he goes, and he's already oh, eating yeah. it. Oh, yeah, don't even gotta, like, throw that in your face. So you know how, like, if you're looking at mountains, right, uh, when it's the farther Ooh, away something apple. is... Where? Oh, in the... Where? Other way. It's ahead. There oh, it is. okay. S but you know how, like... A mountain, the farther away it is, the more, like, washed out the colors are, and it just kind of looks like it fades to white. Uh-huh. Um, that's kind of what they're, like, kind of, like, pale color tones kind of make me think. Like, it feels like atmosphere. Mm-hmm. I think it kind of, like, helps add to the overall feel of the game, too. I saw you, like, kind of disappear in some of these little tufts. I wonder if it's a way to hide. Oh, absolutely. I bet that's actually why they're here. Because you can even kind of see, like, when we enter it, at least, it kind of, like, I think it jiggled a little bit. Yeah, kind of. you can kind of see it. So it's, like, shuffling around. So it tells the player that, hey, this isn't just some, like, visual glitch. This is actually intentional. Yeah. Um, Hide from predators. Well, eat your babies. Eat your babies. I can eat my babies. 
Shit. Shit. My babies are gonna be the the happiest babies ever. I was gonna say the sickest babies, and I was like, actually, that's not that's Let's not the golden not. game. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many different types of trees. That's kind of nice though. It's some ferns. Art wise too, like. There's a lot of texture in this game, even if it's like pretty blocky. Well, I was gonna say, yeah, it's like it's kind of a blocky. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, so many apples. Jackpot. Eat it's, up, babies. It's kind of a blocky game, but at the same time, I think they use it well. Yeah. Um, because like even these textures are kind of like blocked out in squares. Yeah. Which is really interesting to me because like. They didn't need to do that, so I think they did that just to kind of give it that variation that makes it feel a Ooh, little bit more water. organic. Uh, this is a big open space. I don't trust this. I feel like this is where we're going to start to find trouble. Mark my words. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just circling around now. So yeah, I wonder... you don't really know where you're supposed to go or where other shelters are. Yeah. Is that something? I think that's probably the way to go. I'm worried I'm gonna miss. Oh, that's just a river. So that's there's probably nothing over there. Yeah. So I, I'm wondering. Is that where you came out? I don't think no, so. No, because there's a, a radish here. All right. Oh, who yeah. who hasn't eaten? Wait, we're missing one. Yes, you are. Where are you? Oh, there you are. You little piece of shit. No, eat your goddamn dinner. Get. Mm. <laughs> Get back you. here, baby. Come on, babies. Let's go. Little slow pokes. So I wonder if, like, one of these little badger babies are the runt and they, like, fall behind all the time. <laughs> that would be kind of cute. Oh, there's totally something over there. This is a level design thing where we can see, like, oh, there's something over Maybe there. Maybe it'll but go the long way around. There. Yeah. It's a good way of telling the player, though, that there's, like, something that they're to be explored. I wonder if the babies start lightning in color if they're hungry or if there's like some kind of indicator to tell who's the hungriest. I think that's probably the case. What I'm worried about is that what happens when one of them starts getting hungry and I have a hard time like giving that one specifically the food. Which, you know, maybe in terms of like actual wildlife, that's actually probably a pretty normal thing where it's like the ones that are the healthiest are going to fight the most to uh... Oh, oh I can... Oh! Nice! Caught a frog! So it's like, this one looks kind of gray, grayer, but it's like... Oh, it, they ate a frog. Oh, yeah, they no, they are getting lighter in color. Okay. So it's going to be hard to, like, make sure that the hungriest ones get the food. Yeah, you'll have to specifically give it to them instead of, like, knocking it out of the tree onto their heads. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to get your help with that, too, because... I can't see color so well, so... It's good that the apples are bright. Yeah. No, uh, you don't need that food. Give it to the one on the left. Yeah, that this guy. One? Eat this. Oh, I guess it's kind of nice that they all sort of stand around me and they stop moving around when I've got food. Like, they kind of... Next time, give it to the one with the big fat stripe down his back. Oh, yeah, that's a good way of, of doing it. Because they all have their own unique pattern. Uh-huh. It's good to let you know who's hungry. Yes. Who's hungry? I sort hungry? of wish there was another indication, because colorblind people are going to have a really hard time with this game. But at the There's same time... There's apples. I There's know, so much food. Well, they're being, they're being nice right now. There's All right, the, fat that guy. Stripe. Get back over here. We should name these guys. Fat Stripe? Like, I'll call you Fat Stripe. We can name the rest of them in the next episode. Oh, shit. But if we name them, we're going to get attached, and when they die, we're going to be sad. That's life. Circle <laughs> life. <laughs> That's life. Deal oh. With it. Ah, shit. Well, well, you fatty. Well, we all know you're going to live through this. Selfish. Well, we'll keep searching <laughs> in the next episode. Uh, question of the day. Yeah. Um... Do you think that just desaturating the little baby badgers is enough to tell us when they're getting hungry, especially if you're colorblind and you can't see that? Um, should there be like a colorblind mode or should there be at least some sort of UI element or maybe like 
you know, one of them gets yappier, or barks or slows down. Some anything really like. Right. What would you do to to show more of that uh, information to the player? Cool. Well, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more Shelter, and uh, be sure to vote in the voting section what uh, else you would like to see in the future, in addition to Shelter. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're going to keep playing this for a little bit. Yep. Cool. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in the archives. Yeah.